guys are in for a treat because I'm gonna be making one of my favorite dishes of all time, cauliflower manchurian. So make sure to go grab your cauliflower now and we're gonna get started. This was one of my very first videos that went viral on TikTok and so many of you loved it, but also a lot of you asked me, what does cauliflower manchurian pair well with? And I think it pairs best with fried rice, so we're gonna be making that together as well. Once you're done chopping your cauliflower, just set it aside in a separate bowl and uh, try your best to get everything in the bowl without it falling everywhere. This is my second take on this. Let's get to cooking. Got my pan here. You can use a wok or whichever kind of pan you have, but I prefer using like a non-stick pan. Okay, next we're gonna add in some oil. You can just eyeball it if you want. It's about two tablespoons. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add in our ginger and garlic, which we already cut up. Here you can see that. It looks beautiful. So this is about one inch ginger grated. I'm gonna add that in. And then we're gonna add in half of this ginger that we cut because the other half is for the fried rice. Okay. While that's cooking up, we're also going to add about two diced green chilies and you're gonna dice it really fine. But once your garlic and ginger have started to brown, that's when you know it's ready. You don't wanna overcook it at all. So we're just gonna add in that onions that we had diced earlier. Okay, next we're gonna add in our bell peppers, toss those in, add in the cauliflower. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It already smells so good. And I think um, it's important to note that this is actually a modified version of cauliflower manchurian. A lot of times people usually fry the cauliflower before adding it in. But I think this recipe is just as good and it saves you about 15, 20 minutes. So a lot of times I prefer just adding raw cauliflower into here without frying. Keep this covered for about two to three minutes and then we're gonna go prep our veggies for our fried rice. And next we're gonna cut, cut up some carrots. <laughs> and I like to julienne them so they're like long strips. But... <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Trust me, I know how to chop carrots. Next, we're gonna add in about a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. You can use a regular teaspoon, but sometimes I just feel like the cap is a good measurement in itself. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add in about two tablespoons of soy sauce, and this is just regular soy sauce. And top it off with a spoon of dark soy sauce. Okay, now with the simmering, we're gonna add in one cup of water. And then after this, we're gonna add in our cornstarch water, which is gonna help it balance out and thicken the overall gravy. Now, this is a really important step. We've got our cornstarch water, so in this, I've mixed together, ooh, yikes. In this, I've mixed together about one teaspoon of cornstarch with about two to three spoons of water. And you just wanna to stir together till it gets a good consistency. And once we add this into the cauliflower, it'll make it a really thick and delicious gravy. Next, we're gonna make our fried rice. So grab a separate pan, and on medium heat, we're gonna start preparing. Start off by adding in a tablespoon of oil. Now that the pan is hot and ready, We've got our ginger and garlic, which we already chopped. This is about three cloves of garlic and about a half an inch of ginger grated. Just add that right in. Once your garlic becomes light brown, you're gonna add in about a teaspoon of chili flakes, like so. And that one medium onion dice. Next, 
we're gonna add in our carrots. Okay, next we're gonna go grab some sauces. So here I have my oyster sauce, which I use, and we're gonna add in about a teaspoon of this. Oh, and I almost forgot, we also need chili paste. Okay, now we're good to go. Now when the onions are translucent, I like to add in a spoon of chili paste, and then a spoon of oyster sauce. Add in about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, and for this, I use like literally yesterday's leftover rice. As you can see, I'm just gonna fold all that rice in. Now we got our fried rice ready to go. And we got our cauliflower Manchurian that has set and simmered and it's looking divine. Okay, now we are ready to dig in. Already my kitchen is just smelling absolutely amazing. If only you were here to smell this, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna dig in before my family gets here because the chef gets to taste the food first, obviously. So we're gonna grab some of this fried rice. It's just looking and smelling delicious. And then we're gonna pair it with that super delicious Gobi Manchurian, cauliflower Manchurian. It's looking amazing and smelling divine. And I'm gonna taste this, so hopefully it tastes just as amazing as it smells. This is why this is one of my favorite dishes. Fried rice and cauliflower Manchurian, oh my God. It's a winner. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you love these dishes. These are two of my absolutely favorite dishes. And all in all, we finished this in under 20 minutes. So you can prepare this for your friends, your family, or if you wanna impress your dinner party guests or simply a date. So make sure if you like this video to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, make sure to comment down below.